Today, we're going to unbox and test out the Xtool F1 slide extension. You know, there's a lot of talk out there on if this thing is worth it or not. I'm going to give you my thoughts. We're going to dive into it, and I'm going to tell you if you should or should not get it and why. And at the end, there's a really, really cool project, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Roy and on this channel we talk about sublimation and lasers. Today we're going to talk about the Xtool F1 slide extension. Xtool sent me this F1 a while back and they also included this F1 slide extension. So we're going to take a look at it today. I've heard some conflicting feedback about this slide extension. Uh, some have said that it is not overly efficient because it can't operate at the speed of which the F1 can. The, the, the tray is just not going to move as fast as this can by itself. So I have some thoughts on if I'm going to like this or not, but before I share those thoughts, let's open this thing up, let's put it together and take a look and see what it will do. Now that we have everything out, let's go over it one more time. This, of course, is the slide extension. And if you'll notice, there's a, a groove here in the bottom. That is going to go onto the base plate of the F1 here in a second. And then on the back side, we have where we're going to put our cord to connect it to the F1. And then we have a ruler that we'll go over in just a minute. It will go right here and slide in. And we've got a small tool that we'll use to tighten this machine to the F1. And then we have five different clamps. We have three, let me move this over a little bit. We have three that are like this that will clamp on the bottom. Oop. And then we have two that have a little side clamp to them and we'll go over those in just a minute once we get the uh, slide extension onto the F1. So let's do that now. now. We are going to open up the cover and then take the slide extension and set it on top of the base plate. We'll align it up a little bit better in a second but first I need to plug in the cord on the back and then we will connect it to the F1. It is not a symmetrical plug, so it goes in only one way. You want to be a little bit careful with that. And then we'll take the movable ruler and set it on the slide extension, and we're going to align it up to zero on the slide extension and then tighten that thing up. And then we'll align the slide extension to the base plate by aligning the front edge of the extension with the second set of lines on the F1 base plate. The white lines on the slide extension should line up with the edges of the inside of the base plate and then we turn the F1 on. Now let's go to the software. And the first thing I need to do is connect my device. I'm on Wi-Fi, so I'll click Wi-Fi, click my F1, and I am now connected to the machine. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up where it says laser flat, and we're gonna select laser extension. And now we're gonna follow the calibration guide. It actually states, follow the calibration guide strictly before using the slide extension. So we're gonna do that now. We'll hit go, and it's gonna tell you exactly what to do. So basically, it's telling us to align the right edge of the movable ruler with the scale at the zero point on the slide extension and tighten that screw. And then we want to align the vertical line um, on the side of the slide extension with the edge of the removable base plate. We want to slide that extension to where the movable ruler is and then we are going to focus the laser on that ruler. In part two, uh, we're going to screw in, uh, lightly screw in these screws. So um, we'll start with the, the left one and we want to screw it in, but not tighten it. And you might have to jiggle the slide extension just a hair to get that screw to go into the, um, the screw hole. 
And then once you get it in there, you'll just tighten it up. I'm backing it out just a hair. Then I'm going to manually push the slide extension, the plate, all the way to the left so I can do the exact same thing with the right screw. We're just going to screw that into the base plate. And once we've done that, we can go back to the software and click Next to start the calibration. The slide will move all the way to the right and a blue laser line will appear on or near the center of that movable ruler. Now we want to manually adjust the slide extension to align the laser line to the top middle of that ruler. And once it's aligned, we can tighten the left screw, then click Next and the slide will automatically move back to the left to expose the right screw. Tighten that right screw and then go back to the software and click Complete. We're now ready to begin a project. I'm going to import an image. It's an image I created on Photoshop the other day. We'll open that up. I'm going to trace my bitmap image, save that, and then I'll slide uh, what we just created away, go back to the bitmap image and uh, highlight it and delete it. Now I'm going to take this new object, we're going to click engrave and we're just about ready to engrave. I want to click out of that image, then go up to user defined material. We're going to go down to, let's click more and then we will go to the top where it says all and we're going to choose wood and then there will be one option that says four slide extension. So we want to use that and that will give us a set of numbers. Uh, power and speed and we're going to use those as they should work just fine. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add clamps. The two back clamps that I use are going to be those that are expandable because the board that I'm using it's got a little teeny bit of a bow in it. So I want to put that board against those back clamps and then I'm going to push the board in and then we'll take two more clamps and set them on the front side. I'm going to move that right clamp over just a little bit to try to flatten that board a bit. So we should be good to go. I will now align the laser dot to bring the laser into focus. Okay, now I'm going to select framing and this is where the slide extension magic happens. The slide will move all the way to the right and then shift a little bit to the left and it will begin the rectangular framing. And what you do is I actually want to um, make this a little bit smaller because I could tell that it, uh, it was too tall. So that looks to be okay. Now the way to determine the width is to use the focus knob on the side of the machine and turn it and it'll move that slide extension so you can then now focus on the right side of your rectangle to see how far it'll go. It looks like the clamp might be a little bit in the way, so I need to adjust that a little bit closer to the edge. And I'll adjust that focus wheel until the rectangular laser box stops moving to the right. That'll give me the total width of the design that I'm doing. Then I'm going to click process and I'll click start and then I'll click the focus wheel and we will begin this project. The slide will move all the way to the left and then it'll come back to the right uh, to the beginning of the project and it'll start cutting. And as the laser cuts, it's the slide extension that's moving. The laser itself is staying stationary. Once it's finished, let me slide the clamps off so we can take a look at it. So this came out wonderfully. I will tell you, I tried to do this before and I used the wrong side of this wood. It's got a shiny coating to it and it didn't come out very uh, well. So I, I cut another piece and I used the default for the, I think it was the three millimeter wood and it came out fantastic. I will probably go in and trim this down and then put it in the shop for sale. You never know. Anyway, let's try what are we going to try next? Let's try some coasters because I've got some thoughts on the coasters from a is this slide extension worth it from a time standpoint? So let's, let's try to do the coasters. So I'll go back into the software. I had actually, I'm going to open a project. I had four drink coasters that I have previously done 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from individual ones to one long set on the slide extension. So in order to do that, I want to go in and let's see, double check to make sure that I have all four of them. And then I will select laser extension in the upper right hand area. And then it's going to go through that calibration guide. No, I can just click the X there. Now what I want to do is I want to take each one of these and I want to align them so they will be side by side. Now I'm going to take that second one, which is actually labeled drink three and move it to the right one space. Then what's labeled drink two is actually the third one. We're going to move it over and then I'll take drink one, which is the fourth one, move it to the far right. And then I want to turn back on drink four, which is really drink one. Kind of confusing, huh? Why make it easy? Now I need to go and I need to ignore the second, third, and fourth one, which are drink three, two, and one. And then make sure that the first one is highlighted. We're going to click framing. And what's going to happen here is the slide extension will move to the right. And the only thing that it's framing right now is that first one. So I can use the focus wheel and turn it to make sure that I've got that first coaster and focus and I do. So now I need to ignore that first one and select output for the second one. And then we'll go back to framing and it will automatically only show that second one. And once I know it's aligned, I'll go back and do the same thing for the third one and the fourth one. Then it's time to process. So I'll click process and um, I made a mistake. I have to go back because two, three, and four, or the second, third, and fourth one were on ignore. So I need to make sure output is selected for all of them. Then we'll hit process again, and we can see all four of them there. We'll hit start, and then we'll click the focus knob to begin the project. Okay, so these came out wonderfully, right? They're all great. And I was able to do them all at once on this slide extension. They took a little while. Let's talk about that. Let me move this out of the way. There's a lot of talk online about if this slide extension is worth it. This F1 is super, super fast the slide extension slows it down. There's no question about it. These are a set of coasters that I did before I put the slide extension on there, the same coasters that we just did. And I did them individually just on the F1 and they took, one took five minutes and 45 seconds, one took six minutes and four seconds, five minutes, 52 seconds, and five minutes and 53 seconds. These on the slide extension took almost an hour, right at an hour. That's a long time. However, this is 20, what, 23 minutes and change. So it took three times as long to do the coasters on the slide extension. The question though is, what are you doing with that time? And bear with me. So if when I did these four, uh, I certainly didn't stand and hover over the laser as they were uh, being made, but I went to do something else. And before I could really get into doing something else, I had to come back and change it out. So I didn't get a lot of productive work done during that time with these. It was sort of like a set it and forget it. I put them on there and then I had almost an hour to work on other things. And I like doing that when I'm in the studio, Matter of fact, when these were being made on the slide extension, I worked a little bit on some sublimation designs, some laser hat patch designs. I even did a little bit of editing of this video while the coasters were being made. So I personally love that aspect of it because I can walk away. Side note, safety. When you walk away, don't walk out of the room. Don't go do your laundry or wash your car, unless your laundry or your car are in the room that your F1 or any laser is in. It's just dangerous. So always, always, always stay in the same room. I am 
probably five feet away. As a matter of fact, most of my work today when this slide extension was being done was on my computer right here. So I was right beside it. Actually, it was over there. Um, but I did want to also point out whenever you see me recording video of the F1 and this door is open, rest assured I have these on. And if you're doing something that is long and you can't completely close it, uh, uh, and the slide extension makes it somewhat difficult to close, definitely get these. I'll leave a link for these in the description. They are made by Xtool. And so whenever I'm not recording, this thing goes all the way down or as close to all the way down as it can. And if it's not touching the bottom, I'm using these. So that's just a little bit of a, of a side note. I think it's fine because I utilize the time wisely while the slide extension is working. But wait, there's more. Okay, I gotta try one more thing. This is something I've been wanting to do since I got the F1 but was unable to because of the limited footprint um, by itself. But with the slide extension, I think I might be able to make something that I think's funny. Let's try. This thing is wonderful. I actually did both sides. So, great example of how the slide extension can increase the size of the footprint of the F1. You certainly wouldn't be able to do this without the slide extension. I guess you could if you did a couple of words and then a couple of more and moved it around, but I'm not sure how, how correctly you would be able to line it up and it certainly would take a long time. So. I love this. I'm definitely gonna be making some more hammers. Let me move this off to the side and then we'll share some final thoughts. Do I like this slot extension? Absolutely, I love it. It's a beautiful piece of machinery that is extremely smooth. Let's talk about the three projects that I did today with it. The first was the sign that I did. And of course I would not be able to do this without on the F1 without the slide extension. I did go and use my table saw to cut the ends off. I actually did this once before and my camera didn't record it, so I had to redo it for the camera. This was the first one I did though, and while I was outside, I stained it. I don't think I like the stain because you can't read it quite as well, but I might look and see if I can get a little bit lighter stain uh, to stain it. Let me know what you think in the, in the comments. Stain or no stain or maybe a light stain, I don't know. But I am going to put a little hook right here on the back so someone could hang it in their garage and I'll put it in the shop and sell for a few bucks, see what happens. So that was the first project. The second was the coasters. We've already talked about uh, what I like and don't like about those. I personally would use the slide extension if I were doing a bunch of coasters. If I were doing one, absolutely not. And I might not use the slide extension if I were just doing four. I usually sell them in packages of four, but if I were doing a bunch of them, you better believe I'd pull this thing out because it frees me up in good chunks of time to be able to work on something else. That really is probably not the reason you would want to get the slide extension though. Probably the reason would be to do the longer things. And let's talk about our third project, which was the hammer. And I kind of went a little crazy with making the hammers but I absolutely love it. It's something I'd been wanting to do for a while. And it was super, super easy. I think these took about five minutes to do. I did do both sides of each one and I'll put these in the shop and sell them. So me personally, I absolutely love the slide extension. I think it works quite well and I highly recommend it if you want to do projects that are longer than the normal footprint of the F1. It really is easy to put together and it was really quite easy to use. If you do decide to get that or the F1, which by the way, I absolutely love this machine. I do have an affiliate link in the description. I'd greatly appreciate it if you're gonna get one to use that link. It won't cost you any more and it will certainly help this channel 
a lot. So I would greatly appreciate that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely do that and click that notification bell so you'll know when new videos are being released. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know. Today we're gonna. Hey everybody, welcome. If this is your first. <laughs> the extension table is very cool. The way it um, it slides. I guess that's called. That's why it's called a slide extension. <laughs>